<laughs> oh, sorry, it's shaking so much. I'm driving and the little thing doesn't hold very well. Um, anyways. Hi, my name's Ariana. I'm 19 years old. I'm from El Paso, Texas. And yeah, this is my new channel, I guess. Um, I cre I'm creating this channel because I want to doc pretty much document my life, a little bit of it, and more than anything, I want to document the journey of my medical condition, if it goes anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how much of a journey it's going to be, but um, I want to bring some, not only awareness to my condition, but I also want an outlet to be able to talk about the things that I'm going through because I feel like I've not talked about it for so long and I've dismissed it for so long that I think it's become a little bit unhealthy because I pretend like it's not going on when it is. Every single time that something big happens with it, I feel surprised all over again as if I hadn't been dealing with it for three years. Um, so I feel like this channel is going to pretty much help me vent about the things that I'm going through and like be able to talk about it to someone other than just my family and my boyfriend because even though they help me a lot through everything and I'm so blessed to have them because I don't think that I would be where I am if I didn't have them. Um, I still feel like I have a lot more to say and a lot more to talk about and I could talk about this for hours but I don't want to I don't want to take up people's time that much because like I feel like well it's I'm ranting I'm ranting I'm pretty that's what it is I'm ranting about what I'm going through and I don't know if I mean it's just a lot it's a lot to deal with and it's a lot to process so I feel like the more I talk about it the more annoying I get but with the channel, it's kind of like people are willingly listening to you. <laughs> if they want to listen to you. Like, I don't even know if anybody will even go past the first 30 seconds of this. But I think that this is more going to be for myself than anything. So, yeah. Um, disclaimer, however, before I go into um, my medical condition and everything that I'm going through, I want to say... Um, I want to be really, really, really clear that I in no way, no shape or form do I want anybody to think that I'm doing this channel or saying these things because I want people to feel sorry for me because that is not the case whatsoever. I do not want anyone to feel sorry for me. I do not want people to think that I'm painting myself out to be a victim of this, my circumstance. Like I'm not because I am blessed. I am so stupidly blessed. and regardless of what I'm going through, regardless of the hardest days that I have, I know that I'm going to be okay. And I know that everything that's happening right now is for a reason. And there are so many people in this world that are going through so much worse. So I have no room to complain. I really don't. I do not want anyone to think that I'm doing this with any ill intention because that's not the case whatsoever. If you know me, you know I don't talk about this very much because of that reason. Like... I don't want people to feel like, well, yeah, like I want them to feel sorry for me because I, I don't want them to feel sorry. I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. I do not want, like, I do not want that. Like, that is not the reason I'm doing this channel. I do not want anybody to think that. Like, I cannot stress it enough, as you can see, because I'm being so adamant about it. The only reason I'm doing this is for myself more than anything and to gain awareness. I want, I mean, maybe, I mean, I'm thinking really like, <laughs> really like high in hopes here but maybe one day like it'll come across someone who's going through this as well and maybe it'll help them not feel so alone because I think that that's been my biggest issue with this is I don't know a lot of people that are going through what I'm going through so maybe if someone okay I can't <laughs> sorry I'm trying to drive um <laughs> oh that totally threw me off Maybe someone that's going through what I'm going through comes across a video that I post and realizes that they're not alone, you know? And that I feel them. And that they're going to be okay more than anything. So yeah, I mean, again, I'm thinking really high in this, but it is what it is. So anyways, 
Um, in 2016, I was diagnosed with what's called a Chiari malformation. So this condition is when your brain is larger, or it's, well, yeah, pretty much larger. It's coming out of your, coming out into your brain stem. So let's say this is your skull. Your brain sits in your skull and in the back, of course, your cerebellum. So that's, that's the part of your brain in the back. Um, your brain is coming out and seeping into your spinal canal. So it's like squishing into my spinal canal, which causes a lot of issues. I mean, you think about it. Your brain is literally being squished. <laughs> that's not, that's not okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, because of this, I, it comes with a trillion different symptoms that I can't even begin to start explaining. Oh, I mean, I'm going to start explaining, but I can't list all of them because I would be on this video for like an hour and I really don't want to do that. I want to keep this short. Um, one of the biggest issues I've had, however, um, the reason that this has become such an issue and the reason that I go back and forth to, neuro to the neurologist in Phoenix, which is where like I will be documenting my, uh, my doctor's visits and the hospitalizations and all of that like I'll be documenting all of that back and forth to Phoenix um the reason that I do all the reason that I have these appointments and stuff is because with the Kyari malformation um you get what's called the Kyari headache and this is I want to stress this very thoroughly like a Kyari headache is not a normal headache it is not a normal migraine it is not an everyday like just take Excedrin, Tylenol, sleep it off type of pain. Like this is its own ball game. It's its own. It sets like new standards for headaches. Like I don't like using the word headache because people get it confused with just a regular like oh let me take some Tylenol, um, let me take some Excedrin, let me go to sleep, like type thing. It's not that. Like it really isn't. Um, it's just I don't really know how else to explain it besides a pain in your head but then I can hear I could hear people saying like if that's a headache but it, it's a Kyari headache <laughs> um so because of these headaches I went at 16 years old from being this outgoing active cheerleader um to being someone who never wanted to leave the house I was homebound all of my junior year um, I couldn't go to school because obviously of this pain in my head not only the pain in my head but um, I get super dizzy like brain fog um, hot flashes like where it feels like my face is burning up when it's really not like I feel like I have a fever but I don't uh, the sun's getting in my face um, so I was homebound all of my junior year uh, back and forth to doctor's visits and in and out of the hospital all the time and it took it took about a year to get diagnosed with this um it was really hard on me at the time because again I went from being this person that was always like really out there and really happy about everything to pretty much like Think of Eeyore, like that's how I, what I turned into. Like if I'm being 100% honest, like that's what I felt like it turned, like it made itself to. However, um, I should have parked in a position. <laughs> I get really I don't know how I'm gonna continue doing this I get really awkward when I see people like see me just talking to my phone like <laughs> I don't know how to pe help people do this um anyway so think of ER like literally like that's what I turned into and it was really bad like for a really long time I, I can be truthful about it like I was not I mean, I'm not very optimistic about it now, but I was 10 times not optimistic then. Like, it was it was a really bad point in my life, and I went through a lot, not only with that, so I kind of feel like it, um, I set a stigma to what this condition was, and I, 
all of the bad things that happened in my life, I kind of compacted it into what I was going through, whatever. So, yeah, anyways, this big old shift of the person that I was to the person that I am right now, um, I feel like not only did it teach me, like, a huge lesson, like, it humbled me, like, nobody's business um it taught me like how strong I really can be and, and I know that that sounds corny I know it sounds like I'm full of myself but it's really true like I went through a lot and I'm not trying to glow about any of it that's not what I'm trying to do again I'm gonna say this a million and five times it's gonna get annoying but I became a different person and even though it's so hard still i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it's so hard and i go through so much some <laughs> so much of like uh, i go through so much a oh, yeah. i go through a lot <laughs> um and i'm in a lot of pain like a good 60 percent of my time more than that but um i've learned that i need to look forward and I need to be okay I keep going off on this rant because I'm trying to get you guys to understand that that the reason I, there's a reason behind this video I want I don't want it to just be oh like it's a vlog like I want the views like that's not what it is like I don't really care if nobody watches it. This is more of an outlet for me. I want to be able to express myself and express what I'm going through. So with this Kayari, like I go through all of these symptoms. I go through all of these different things. I've been put through every test imaginable. MRI, CTs, spinal taps, EKGs. Um, I, could go, I could go down the list for days. Like it's a serious condition. It's a chronic illness. It is many people want to say it's not and it is i want to stress that it is a chronic illness and not a lot of people know about it and i want to bring awareness to it i really do because the thing is there i've seen so many different things and heard so many different people i mean on facebook facebook groups and so many other outlets like where everyone feels so alone Everyone feels so alone having this medical condition because nobody knows a lot about it. And it's really hard to explain it. So finding someone to talk to about it is really rare. So even if I'm talking to myself, like I'm talking to myself right now and I feel better. <laughs> so I think that that's the issue. I mean, that's not the issue. That's the reason. Oh, God. Um, but yeah. I really hope that I keep my word with this because I'm kind of doing this like as a promise to myself that I will do these videos to be optimistic about the situation that I'm in and to find a, the light in it, you know? So I want to keep the promise to myself of doing these videos even if nobody cares about watching them. like. I'm doing this for me, and I, I know I keep repeating that. This is just awkward for me. This is really hard because I don't talk about it. And maybe it'll get easier talking about it and going through the process of all the things that I have to go through. And I want to document it. I want to be as real as possible with this channel. I want to show you the bad and the good. Because there's a lot of good. I have to admit, there is a lot of good. Ironically. <laughs> but I want to be able to be as truthful as possible. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. So I think that if I continue to document this and continue to um, upload videos as I go about the different circumstances that I'm under and the different, different things that I deal with, um, I'll be able to raise some type of awareness for this for this condition I mean in some type of way and be able to express myself I guess um but yeah so this is my first video and it's really short I know but I didn't want to make it super long 
I, I really short and everybody probably thinks it's like oh my god you've been ranting for 15 minutes straight shut up <laughs> oh god I hate myself <sighs> but yeah um, thank you for even if you got in this far or even if you skipped through it like thanks for even attempting to watch it and if you want to continue with me on my journey with this then I really appreciate it really appreciate you taking out the time to do that and um i mean i'll try to keep this as interesting as possible i'm gonna keep it as real as possible so i mean like it is what it is if it's not that interesting to you i'm sorry <laughs> um but so yeah i mean subscribe to my channel guys just kidding um thank you and i'll see you in my next video Peace. It's okay, 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 it's okay. How do people do this? Ah, okay. Anyways. I literally hope they have crickets at this pet spawn. Because if they don't, I'm gonna have to go to Pet Smart. And that's farther than Pet Smart. And that would suck because I don't like to drive. Anyways, okay. They didn't have any flippity flapping crickets. I have to go to Pet Smart.